hello guys and welcome back to chemistry class as you rightly have on the board and of course today we'll continue our study on the periodic table all right and we, have, we started looking into the families of elements and of course today we're going to be looking at group two group two elements group two elements the one we'll call the alkali f metals the alkali f metals all right please do not forget that this video tutorial of course is brought to you by the best cbt practice app available out there which is the old three schools jam cbt practice app which has been currently being displayed on the screen right now this is all you need to succeed in your exam it tells all the past questions you will ever need all the recent and past questions you ever need for your exam there are so many modes on the app you can practice with there's a practice mode there's a study mode there's an exam mode it's a mock mode you can place yourself you can simulate seeing yourself in the exam all that day with our what with our pc version the, the app is available for both android and pc so many wonderful features that you should take advantage of questions chat feature like the utme challenge that will conduct for all students for all students writing jam every year every weekend we, we conduct what a challenge so you participate in that challenge with other students you win prizes and of course winning prizes is not the major reason why we do that but the, one of the other reasons is that you are going to be seeing your score per subject every week when you partake in that challenge just like your jam release your score so as you are seeing your score you are seeing your weak areas you are seeing your strengths then you can be able to want to work on your weak areas wonderful feature right there's the classroom feature also more more wonderful if in fact they have get educational games so you can you can play physics game now you'll be asked physics questions and you'll be winning what money but the money is actually virtual just to make you enjoy what studying so please Take advantage of this app download it immediately immediately as i'm talking now go to play store look for the o3 schools o3 not 03 o3 schools jump app download it activate it activation is just three thousand naira. it's a one-time activation p uh, activation fee, i mean to say so please get that app immediately and what and join us in our, in our classes so i've talked about the app too much let's go back to where we are here today so we're looking at what the group two what elements all right so the elements that are in this group include one we have beryllium <coughs> excuse me we have beryllium we have magnesium all right we have calcium all right we have strontium we have barium we have radium all right these are the elements that are what in the group two of what of the periodic what, table all right of course like we've said families of elements they will have what similar what characteristics or properties all right so these are the elements in group two of the periodic table the greatest bullet you can shoot on your leg by yourself is that you ask a simple question as which of the following is not in group two of the periodic table and then you do not know you miss a simple question that will give you your free two marks right it will be a shame and a slap on your face in fact i will be disappointed in you so please make sure that you know the elements that are, that are in each of the major groups each of the major eight groups excluding the word d and f block what element all right so please know them beryllium magnesium calcium strontium barium and radium are in group two of the periodic or table and of course they are divalent they are divalent what you mean by divalence that they have what a valency of what of two right they have oxidation a state of plus, of plus two oxidation state of what of plus what of plus two all right that's how you see ca2 plus written like this all right mg2 plus written so they have a oxidation state of what of plus two all right now as i forgot to say in the words in the previous uh, episode about group one they have a station state of what of plus one they are what are univalent all right so now they are called alkali earth metals for a reason the reason why they are called alkali earth metals is because they form oxides they form oxides and hydroxides hydroxides that are available in the earth clause in the earth's crust all right they are found in the what in the earth's crust that's why they are called what 
earth metals, earth metals, right? Why they are called this alkaline because what they form this oxide and hydroxide that are what alkaline in nature. They form oxides and hydroxides that are alkaline, alkaline in nature, and then of course they are found in the earth's crust. That is why we say that was um we say that what they are called alkaline earth metals. All right, so a simple explanation. So the reason why they are called alkaline earth metals is because they are what they form other than hydroxide that are alkaline in nature and are found and they form other that are found in the what in the earth crust. All right. So I've known about what the reason why they are called alkaline metals. It's now time to let you know that they are also what reactive. They are very very reactive and what and good reducing agents due to their ease of loss of atomous electrons. We say that what that they are what reactive. Just like the group one uh, elements, they are reactive and what and and form they can easily what ionize due to their loss of due to their ease of loss of what their atoms what electrons. So they can easily what ionize also ionize. So ionization they can easily what carry out ionization. All right. So we are saying that what that group two what elements right are reactive metals and they are also strong. So I didn't put that down. They are strong reducing agents they are strong reducing agents due to their ease of loss of atomous what electrons all right now having known that know that what um of course we have we have you have talked about we have talked about the uh, uses of uh, bases before i'll talk about use of what magnesium hydroxide i'll talk about the use of what calcium hydroxide so of course they form what oxides and what and hydroxide but the thing is that magnesium oxide magnesium oxide is not soluble in water it's all sometimes we say it's sparingly soluble sparingly soluble in water or that magnesium oxide is sparingly, sparingly soluble in water and of course know that what group two elements they are good conductors of electricity they are good conductors of electricity of electricity all right group two elements are good what conductors of electricity just like the group one what elements they are good conductor of, conductors of electricity just like the group one what element and like i said that what magnesium oxide all right magnesium oxide is what sparingly or what uh, sometimes you say insoluble in what in water all right it's sparingly soluble in water or you can just say it's insoluble in water all right I will know that also know that what that calcium what oxide calcium forms what an oxide called calcium oxide C A O calcium oxide the one we call quick lime quick lime all right so because this quick lime can dissolve in water you know that what the magnesium what oxide that is what the M MgO is not what is not soluble in what in water or it is apparently what soluble in water. All right, but what calcium what uh, oxide the quick line is what can easily what dissolve in water is soluble in water. That means can dissolve what in water to give us what to call what calcium what hydroxide CaOH2 calcium hydroxide. It dissolves in water to give us calcium hydroxide in the process that we call what slaking. The process whereby calcium oxide dissolves in water to give us calcium hydroxide. It's called slaking. S L A K I N G. It's called slaking, right? And the product that is formed, this calcium hydroxide that is formed, is called the slaked lime. It's called the slaked lime. Slaked lime. All right. So that is that for group what two elements that are called what? Alkali H metals because they form oxides and hydroxides that are what soluble. Sorry, they form they form uh, oxides and hydroxides that are what alkali in nature and form and have oxides that are what that are readily what uh, available in the earth. So you can find them in the earth crust. All right, that's why I call them what alkali H metals. But there are so many other reasons they are what they are divalent. They are they have, they have, they have a valency of two, uh, oxidation state of what of two. And of course, they are reactive and strong reducing agents. They are strong reducing agents and know that what their reducing property increases as we go down the group. They what it increases as we go down or this group. The two important, most important elements in group two are magnesium and what and calcium, right? They are the two most important elements in group two. 
so please make sure that you have liked this video make sure that what you have of course subscribed to this channel subscription will make you be notified whenever we release a new video and make sure that you are sharing this video to what to your friends and loved ones so that they can also what learn and join us all right so this is where we are going to what stop in what about what group two what elements and in the next class we will be able to what to go to the next family of element called the boron family i will see you in the next episode thanks for watching